Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Skillset Group. In the last videos, we have seen REST APIs, GET mapping, and we have seen how to get all the data from the database with using student's URL and how to get a detail for the particular student details with the particular ID. So with using this URL, we can pass any ID of the student, we will get particular student details. And we have used JPA to get the data from the database. So if you have seen, we have created a student repo which extends just JPA repository. The JPA repository will take care of everything. We just need to use its APIs. We have find by ID, we have find all. So in this video, we will see how to pass a data to the request and how to insert the data into a database. So for this, we will use a post request. So if you have if you observe these two methods, these are get requests, get mapping and get mapping. So we will create one more method and we will accept the student data so just create and let's return a student data what we have added this is a written type and let's name post data this is the method name so here we need to accept a student details and we need to keep those details in a database so we need to create student argument So let's say student and we need to return a student and we can save this student using a repo in a database. Just use an available API called save and we can pass our student model. So that's it. The student data whatever we passed will be inserted into a into a database so but we are returning the data after saving we will get the data from the database get by id find by id and we will pass the student id what we have inserted get the student id and just return it so here we need to return optional student just change this to optional optional means either null or the student details so we just created an implementation to insert data in a database using a jpa api but we have not mapped this method to the url so we need to map this to post request so let's have an annotation post mapping and map this to the url students so that's it so if you can see this url and this url is same but the request type is different this is get mapping which will get the data this is post mapping which will accept the data and it will insert and finally we will get that we are getting returning the same data let's relaunch this and let's pass the data using a post map So let's go to Postman. So here the application started. Here let's have an URL localhost 408080 and the URL we are accessing the students. But the request type is not get, it is post. And we need to pass student details. Let's go to body and let's have if we observe the student model has student id student name and score let's pass all those data sid is 104 student name let's say ashok and score let's say 900 and if you want to see the data from the database, we need to access the H2 console provided by Spring Boot because we are using an in-memory database localhost 8080 H2 console. So this is the URL what we have given in application dot properties. Let's connect it and let's see what data is available. 
in student table so presently we have three rows as soon as we post our student details data we need to have this data also as the fourth row let's send it if you can see we have successfully returned the data but let's see whether the data is inserted into database or not so let's run this select star from student again so if you can see the data got inserted so here you can see the magic of the post request and the spring boot here we are accepting as a student object but in post request we are passing as different parameters key value key value separately and let's say we are we are not passing the score we are just passing only student id and student name just change the id and let's insert so now the score is null let's see the database what is the data so we have got the new row 105 and the null and there is another way of posting data instead of posting the key value key value we can post the same data using raw body raw we can pass direct json instead of key value pair let's change the data let's insert student id 106 let's say show kumar and now let's post you can see we got an error so it is not accepting as a body but if you pass the data as a form data it is accepting so how to rectify this we need to map this object to a body so for that we need to have a mapping annotation request body that's it whatever the content we have passed to the body it will try to map to this object and now let's relaunch this app and let's see whether it accepts a body data so now let's go to here before we are getting an error it is not getting inserted now let's request again still it is saying unsupported media type because here if you can see we are passing the data as a text if we change so this method will accept a json body because we are because we are mapping directly to a model we need to pass as a json or a xml so here we can simply change this to we are passing as a text we can just simply change this to json application json now it will be passed as a json now let's send it again so it is posted successfully and let's see whether this data is available in database or not 106 id let's present it is up to 105 let's okay as we have relaunched the application we need to reconnect again select star from student and this is again fresh database with three rows before and the new row we have posted it using the request body if you want to post the data again let's change the id let's send it again so we have got response and let's see the database content so here we have got the new row so this is how we will post a data we can post it as a form data and directly map to the model or we can post it as a request body in a json format and we can directly map into student model so we have no, we no need to do any explicit code to map a json to the model automatically it will convert and it will assign the data to the student i hope you like this video and in future videos we will see what is put request put request is generally for updating the data please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching